Welcome back to Retro Adventures and another edition of the Lewis and Clark edition. Today I am at Clark's Hill Norton State Historic Site. This is quite an obscure place to find and it was uh, quite an adventure uh, getting here. If you look for this, uh, it, it doesn't have really a sign except saying it's a Lewis and Clark historical marker out on the highway. I'm going to guess that this is one of the less visited historical sites in Missouri. This is Memorial Day and we are the only car in the parking lot. Here we have posted some information about the Corps of Discovery camping in this area for two nights starting on June the 1st, 1804, and they left on June the 3rd. It says they didn't leave until 5 p.m. that evening. They had a couple of goals. One, they wanted to take some celestial readings, and two, they wanted to see the mouth of the Osage River. At that time, it was a very important river here in Missouri and it was the home of the Osage Indians in that region. The reason this is called Norton Hill Historic Site is it was donated, the land was, by a man, uh, William Norton and his wife, Carol, this 13 acres to make a state park. If you come here, you can hike a half mile trail to where William Clark observed the confluence of the Osage and the Missouri Rivers. Here we have a plaque that explains uh, much of the Osage history in this region. It certainly was a complicated issue for the United States after they purchased Lu the Louisiana Purchase. And in fact, eventually forced the Osage out of this region uh, on further west where they eventually ended up in Oklahoma. When Clark climbed this hill, he noticed these Indian mounds that were here. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see right now. There is no plan for excavation, but right there are the mounds. And right across from the information about the mounds, there we have the Missouri River. So this trail is uh, quite rugged, definitely not wheelchair accessible. I can also tell it probably is not traveled by too many people. Not really well worn, so just be forewarned if you come here, it's going to be a pretty good hike. And according to this placard, there are two Indian mounds just beyond uh, this area. Here we have one over here, I believe another one right there. Again, there are no plans for any excavation of these in the future. And here we have the payoff for that rugged Half mile trail. And here I am at the end of the trail. We have this nice platform that is built. However, you cannot really see much because of the vegetation. The Missouri River is not visible and neither is the Osage, but the Osage has actually changed course since 1804 
and where it runs into the Missouri River is quite a bit of ways away from here. And like I said, on Memorial Day of 2023, this is the view that you have. I mean, beautiful trees, a beautiful setting, but you cannot see for miles and miles like you might think you could on a bluff. So a good tip for you that come to this site when there is much vegetation, the best spot to view the Missouri River is right past the spot where it, there's a placard about the burial mounds and right before there is a bench. You can see that bench right over there. Now, farther down the river, I would estimate about five to six miles is where the current day Osage River runs into the Missouri. But like I said previously, the Osage ran into the Missouri closer to where we are right now or at the end of this trail. So thanks for coming along to this adventure to Clarks Hill Norton Historic Site in Missouri. This is about 10 miles east of Jefferson City, Missouri. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. Until next time, have yourself a retro adventure.